Looks like we have a fearless warrior on our hands. What next? An army? Quadra kill! Welcome back to another video. Okay, in today's video we're gonna be building Freya. I have a really OP build on her and it's gonna be abusing the fact that her abilities hit really hard and there are items that make her abilities and her autos hit even harder and we're gonna be building all those items. All right, so you're gonna start the build with Mannequin Skepter. The starter item is gonna make her autos hit extra damage and burn enemies. And you wanna build Lost Artifact with it in the start of the game. Once you have your Mannequin and Lost Artifact, you can leave base. And when you come back for the first time, you wanna build the Ring of Hectate. Ring of Hectate is gonna be your second item. Then Demonic Grip after that for the Protection Shred when you're hitting your autos or your basic attacks. Ring of Hectate is gonna give you power and lifesteal while Demonic Grip gives you that uh, penetration and they both give you attack speed. And then once you build Demonic Grip, you wanna finish your Lost Artifact and and finish it by building Rod of the Hoodie. Rod of the Hoodie is gonna give you that power spike, penetration, and that amazing passive that you're gonna need. After Rod of the Hoodie, you wanna build Spear of Magus. Spear of Magus is amazing on Freya. It's gonna give her more um, power and lifesteal. And also the passive is gonna make her abilities hit a lot harder. So you already know Spear of Magus is gonna proc her pulse and her, her one as well. But for the next item, I like building Telkine's Ring. Telkine's Ring is pretty expensive, but it does offer even more uh, extra damage on her autos. So you're gonna be hitting extra damage from your Rod of the Hoodie, from your Spear of Magus, from your Telkine's Ring, from your Mannequin Mace, and then you're gonna have DOT on your Telkine's and your Mannequin Mace. So you're gonna be swinging pretty hard. And you're gonna finish your build by upgrading your Mannequin Skepter into a Mannequin Mace. And once you finish your build, you should be buying Potion of Powers. You shouldn't really be spending money upgrading relics or buying potions in this, in this game mode at all. In other casual game modes, it's worth it, like Clash maybe. But in this game mode, you just want to go straight for the Potion of Power at the end. But yeah, that wraps up the Freya video, guys. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the content. And if you guys did enjoy the build as well, leave a comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.